Screen recording can be an incredibly useful tool. If you are a video creator or content creator or have plans to become one or share gaming or demonstrational content, this could be something you use all the time. Thankfully, Windows 11 has a built-in application for recording your screen called Snipping Tool. In today's video, I will show you how to use the Snipping Tool to record your screen for free. Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Steph and in this channel, I teach you quick daily tech tips that make your life a little easier. Snipping tool comes as part of Windows 11 and is also available via the Microsoft Store. To open Snipping tool, simply search for it in the Start menu search box. In the top toolbar, you see two options here, a camera icon and a video camera icon. Well, the camera icon allows you to take screenshots, but the video camera icon allows you to record your screen as a video. Press the record button and then press new. Click to drag and drop a rectangle indicating the portion of the screen that you would like to record. If you want to record the full screen, click and drag from the top left corner to the bottom right corner. Press start and you will see a 3 second countdown begin for your recording. After you have finished recording, press stop. Your recordings are automatically saved to your screen recordings folder. However, you can change the destination folder by clicking on the three dots button on the top right and select settings. Under screen recording, you can change the folder where you want to save your recordings to. Here I want to save it to my downloads for easier accessing next time. So I select downloads and click select folder. You can see now the screen recordings are saved to my downloads. And if you want to shortcut to the Snipping Tool video recorder, press the Windows logo key, Shift and the R key. This is the easiest way to record your screen. However, there are still some limitations currently that you should know about, which is audio recording is not yet supported and the only supported format is MP4. I hope today's video was easy to understand and if you like more of such videos, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Until the next video, I'm Steph, take care and bye bye.